I always love hearing from you guys, and today we're going to answer a question that was posted up on my Facebook page about frying fish. So Becky, this one's for you. For today's fish, I decided to use catfish. That's a staple in West Virginia cuisine. We love eating them around here, and I love cooking them. So it's a very simple process, and there are a few key things here to keeping your fish from sticking to your pan. One is to use a nicely seasoned cast iron pan, or you're gonna use Teflon, stainless steel, whatever you use, make sure that it has enough fat in it. So we're gonna start off with a nicely seasoned cast iron skillet. We're gonna take our catfish fillets, pat them dry, season them with salt and pepper, and then dust them with a one-to-one -one mixture of cornmeal and flour. Then we'll have some hot fat in our skillet. I'm gonna use a mixture of bacon grease, butter, and canola oil. Lay that catfish fillet gently into the pan and let it sizzle away. Don't touch it, don't mess with it. Let it do its thing in the pan. After a couple minutes, it's gonna slide around just fine. If you disturb it too soon, it may stick a little bit. Stop touching it and let it go back to doing its thing. We're gonna cook it on a medium high heat and once that's ready, carefully flip it over to the other side. And you can see how it scoots around in this pan because it's well seasoned and we have the right amount of fat at the right temperature. Those are the only secrets. Once the fish is completely fully fried, we're gonna pull it out onto a paper towel lined plate, let it rest for a little bit, and then build a nice dinner plate here. We're gonna put our fish down on top of some sour cream succotash, something that I had left over from the restaurant down at Vagabond Kitchen. That'll be a nice place to put our fish because it's hot and it'll hold the heat in the catfish. Then below that, let's do some of that watermelon and quinoa utilization salad. And if you wanna learn more about that, check out the video. We're gonna lay our catfish on top of the sour cream succotash and now you've got dinner. So this one's for you, Becky. I love answering everyone's questions. Please let me know what you're interested in seeing in the comments below or pop over to my Facebook page. And hey guys, don't forget to smash that subscribe button.